My name is Ian McMillan. I'm one of four vascular surgeons in the Ayrshire and Arran, um, and I help coordinate the activities of the, the aneurysm screening group. An aneurysm is where the wall of the artery, in this case the aorta, weakens and dilates and uh, the whole thing expands and becomes bigger and bigger over time. And the biggest risk of that is that it may rupture, which in general is a fatal event. The screening programme um, is aimed at men, uh, men in, uh, at the age of 65. Those younger than 65 are not eligible and those 66 and above can self-refer. But the main group is those of the, the year 65 and uh, they're sent a date uh, and a venue and appointment for an ultrasound scan. The same scan that's used in pregnancy. On the original invite, there's some information as part of the invitation um, and then that information is reiterated when they appear for the scan. Uh, the scanning technician goes over the information and uh, asks if there's any questions arising from it. And then once it's all clear that it's understood on both sides, then the, the scan is carried out. The risk was up with age. Uh, and the risk factors for it, in addition to age, would be people with high blood pressure, People will smoke cigarettes, um, those with a family history of an aneurysm, um, and those who have arterial disease in general, be it a previous stroke or heart attack or whatever. The larger aneurysms that require surgical treatment are those aneurysms that have expanded to the critical diameter of 5.5 centimetres or more. Aneurysms below that level are in the surveillance uh, limb of the programme, but once you trip over the 5.5 centimetre uh, threshold, that leads to referral to the vascular unit, which will lead to a CT scan and thereafter uh, a discussion with your vascular surgeon about the options over treatment. And that treatment lies between either doing nothing, which doesn't often happen, or alternatively the open repair or a stent graft. In terms of how common it is, if you look at the, the men at the age of 65, just over 1% of the scans will be positive. Just over 1 in 100 will have a positive scan. But the majority of them are small aneurysms. In terms of the aneurysms that require a, an operation, only about 0.1% uh, will have a, a positive scan of that size. And only, in other words, 1 in 1,000 would require surgery at that point. The vast majority of smaller aneurysms that then go into the surveillance programme. There's little in the way of signs or symptoms until they rupture. Um, some have backache, but backache is such a non-specific symptom, it's not very helpful. Um, but the vast majority are asymptomatic, um, no symptoms, and then out of the blue, once it gets to a critical size, it, you know, it can rupture. The first patient we're going to see um, had a, what would be regarded as the conventional approach uh, over many, many years, and that was a cutting, open approach to the aneurysm, whereby we make a long incision in the abdomen and uh, go directly down onto the, the aneurysm itself, clamp it above and below the bulge, so there's a complete arrest of flow down the way. You clamp the vessels, and then you repair it on the inside and replace the damaged uh, section of artery with, with an artificial tube of material, usually a polyester material called Dacron.